Hi, David Katzmeyer here from CNET, and I'm with the LG 47 LE 5500. This is a 47 inch LCD based TV from LG. There's also a 55 and a 42 inch member of the series. This review will apply to all the screen sizes. This is LG's first TV with local dimming from an edge lit configuration that makes the TV really thin. We'll uh, look at the performance impact in a little bit, but as you can see from the side, this is 1.1 inches deep, one of the thinnest TVs available today. It's also relatively efficient with those LED backlights. The styling on this TV takes advantage of that minimalist appeal. It's kind of all glossy black. There's this stand here with a swivel on it. There's a slight reddish purplish tinge to the edge around uh, the extreme border of the TV, but other than that it's a fairly normal looking LCD. The feature set on this TV falls sort of in the middle of LG's lineup. It's a 120 hertz model, not the 240 hertz found on the step-up versions, but it does have the netcast suite of interactive apps including Netflix streaming, there's Voodoo, there's also YouTube, Picasa, and a few other applications available via Yahoo widgets. The uh, TV also has an optional dongle for Wi-Fi. We have it included in the back here, so you can see the Wi-Fi works pretty well. There's also a cool little uh, weather-based uh, app on the front. You can actually see what the weather's like in your area as soon as you turn on Netcast. You can see it's a pretty nice day in Las Vegas, as usual. Connectivity on this TV is fairly solid with three HDMI, two component video, a PC input, and this Ethernet port on the back panel. The side panel also has an HDMI port, and these two smaller inputs are actually breakout cable ports for uh, component video and normal AV connections. The TV is so thin, it kind of needs a breakout cable to get those to connect. Picture adjustments on this TV are very extensive. Uh, it does lack the THX mode found on some higher end models, but it does have a cinema mode to compensate. There's also two expert modes with a host of adjustments, including a 10-point IRE system. There's also gamma adjustment, a full color management system, and a lot of other ways to tweak the picture. New for 2010, LG also included sliders to control de-judder and anti-blur, although they really didn't work all that well in our testing. Speaking of testing, this TV's performance was sort of mediocre compared to a lot of the other LED-based LCDs this year. Its local dimming is not very precise. It relies on these kind of large zones along the screen, so when one is illuminated and the other isn't, it kind of has some spillover. You can see that in areas like credits, where there's bright areas along the screen and then darker areas. The TV also has relatively light black levels in general, so you don't have that nice deep punch uh, when you're looking at darker material or in a darkened room. On the plus side, its color accuracy was pretty darn good in bright areas, but on the minus in darker areas, you actually saw some blue creep into the picture and has the standard issues with off angle and uniformity that we've seen in a lot of LCDs. So in general, it's really not the best video quality TV we've seen this year, although the style and features are pretty compelling. That's a quick look at the LG 47LE 5500, and I'm David Katzmeyer.